And this is great for parents all year round, but especially this time of year doing holiday shopping, you can come down here to South Center and drop the kids off at Green Door Stay and Play and then get your shopping done and keep your secrets too when it comes to shopping for Christmas. So, Debbie, thanks for throwing the party this morning. No worries, no worries. It's so great to have you guys here, so really. Happy to be here. Okay, yeah. so tell you're a little bit tucked away. Describe to us where exactly you are in the mall. So, if you come in the main entrance where the Crate and Barrel is um, and you go down the escalator to your right, there's a long hallway. Green door at the end, you cannot miss us. You can't miss it. It is a very bright green door. So tell us a bit about how this works when parents come to drop the kids off. So um, basically the parents drop them off. They sign them in. Um, I believe we're going to sign you in this morning. I'm going to get signed in as if I was being dropped off. There's lots of fun things to do here. I think I'd probably like to hang out. So cameraman Nick filled out a form here. And, and how does it work? So um, you sign in, you sign in your child's name, your name, uh, address, age of the child. We write it on this lovely wristband, the name of the child, so that everybody knows if someone goes on break and comes back in, you still know, oh, that's Charlie or that's Sarah, right? Um, we cut off the bottom and the parents take the bottom with them. And then we write the wristband number on the back so the parents know. Our number's on here as well in case there's you know anything going on that they need to contact us for right. and then they bring this back and they get their child back okay super easy easy yeah. like that and how long can they drop the kids off for for two hours, two hours. yeah and it's a really reasonable rate absolutely it's only ten dollars ten dollars an hour and you were saying that that's way less than you would spend taking the kids to the Disney store and having them pick out a bunch of things. So, so fantastic. So I would get this wristband. I will put it on you right now. Thank you. Just in case I get lost yeah, in the scavenger hunt. You inside the mall on that scavenger hunt. Okay. We're going to cut off the bottom piece of here and we're going to give it to the cameraman. <laughs> And I appreciate that cameraman Nick was generous with my age and with the timeouts. Yeah. I never get a timeout. <laughs> okay, and what kinds of activities take place here during that time? Well, as the beginning you showed, we do crafts. Um, we have riding cars. The boys over there, of course, are playing hockey on the PS3. Mm -hmm. um, we have foosball, and then we have a ton of toys for ages 16 months right up to 10 years old. So okay. we have tons of different activities in here for kids to do. Okay, so that's the age range of kids that you take. Yeah, we stay stable on their feet in case we get a big group of kids. We don't want, you know, someone who isn't stable on their feet and get knocked over by accident, right? So yeah. we say about 16 months. Okay, this is a game changer, as Tara Sloan was saying, uh, to drop the kids off, have two hours to go shopping. I mean, isn't this amazing? We're going to be hanging out playing with the kids all morning long, you guys, and I got my trusty wristband on. You know, it's worth it if you just want to sit down and have a cup of coffee. Sure. Right? Sure. One hour, ten bucks, done. Absolutely <laughs> huge. Uh, yeah, this is perfect. The kids can be dropped off here. They can have a blast, and the parents go shopping at South Center. It's Green Door Stain Plays where we're at this morning. Oh, karaoke's kicked in. Good choice. Little journey going on. I like it. All right, so we were talking a little bit on the other side. that 16 months to 10 years, and this is for the older kids. Yeah, this is the birthday party room, so it's a three-hour birthday. Um, we can do five right up to 14. We have these scavenger hunts, and we have five different ones depending on the age of the children. So three hours birthday gives us an hour scavenger hunt in the mall, which means we take the children in the mall for an hour running around looking at things and doing different activities. That sounds like chaos. It is complete and total utter chaos, but it's super exciting and a lot of fun. Okay, so yeah. the birthday program takes place here. We're actually going to be doing a scavenger hunt a little bit later. Yeah. And then some of the activities for the older kids. Um, we have basketball over here. Uh, we have air hockey back here. Uh, obviously karaoke and other kind of video games on there. And we have hockey back here. So it's, it's a lot of fun and, and tons of things for them to do inside here. Okay. And how many kids do you accommodate for birthday parties? 25. 25, whoa. 25 children in this room, you bet. That's a big group. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm highly resisting jumping in on the karaoke this morning, but we're going to move along here to the other room here and check out what some of the other kids are doing. Hi, guys. So we've got a craft center going on, and is this, this self-directed? Let's talk a little bit about the caretakers and, uh, and how they're guiding the activities. Absolutely. We have um, two staff on at all times. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they're just here to hang out and play with the children and do crafts with them and whatever they want to do. They're here to make this experience for your children amazing. That's their job. And when I hire staff, they're like, so I just play with them? And I'm like, that's right. You just play with them. That's your job. That's your job. Yeah. I mean, you obviously know a thing or two having other daycare facilities in the city. I do. I have two other preschools schools in the city, one in the Trico and one in Minnipore. 
Yeah, and in September we're opening uh, before and after school as well. Awesome. Okay, and this is a, so a new venture for you, relatively new in South Center Mall. I'm going to break away here, Debbie, because uh, Ryan's going to teach me how to play some hockey, and this is Freckles who's going to hand over hand over the control. I've never played this game before, Ryan. What do I need to know? Um, Tell me which buttons I press. A is to I th um. Well, let's go, go to here. Um, that's to shoot. That's to shoot. This is to pass to your players. This is to move. And I think that's it. That's that it. That you need. Okay. Until a little, the next tips and stuff. Okay. A little crash course here this morning. Uh, we're going to start playing. Uh, who do you think is going to win the game? I don't know. You don't know? I think you might have. The odds are in your favor, my friend. <laughs> All right. We're having a blast here at Green Door Stadium Play, guys. We're seeing some battle between the Oilers and the Calgary Flames in that video game. Fun things happen. The Battle of Alberta. Yep. Uh, checking with Jill Bellin now at South Center Mall, about to take the kids on a scavenger hunt. Let the games begin. Green Doors stay in play, hosting us for the morning, and we've gone fourth into the mall for the next activity here this morning. This is super fun. This is something you do for birthday parties and the older kids, Debbie, and this is the scavenger hunt. So Absolutely. what are we looking for? Well, right now we're doing the part of the scavenger hunt where they come up and they have to find different restaurants with different ethnicities and, you know, try to figure out what they're going on. The girls here have um, like a crossword that they're doing, so they actually have to go through and find the names and put them in correctly. And there's a couple tricky ones in there, so, you know, if they get it wrong, then they have to go back through and try to figure out where they made their mistakes, okay. right? Super fun. So you actually have, when you bring the kids out into the mall, I was saying earlier that that sounds like chaos, but you have... Supervision for Absolutely. the group. We have a staff member behind with one of the groups. Um, we do ask that if you have the younger kids that you do bring a parent or another supervisor to come out, but you do have a staff member with you for sure. Okay, this is lots of fun. Let's walk across the way here and see what the other groups are working on. So this scavenger hunt takes an hour to complete. It does. It takes a whole hour to complete. And we call this organized chaos. Yeah. So we really are organized, but you know, a little bunch of girls. It's a little chaotic sometimes. Okay. How are you guys doing over here? You're yeah? Clues? Okay, let's check in here and see how many clues you found. How far along are you girls? We, we wrote them here and then we're just going to them. You guys are really far. Is this hard? Has it been easy or is it hard? Me. Yeah. Medium? Yeah. Easy? Are you having fun? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. And on the flip side, what do we have on the next page? Well, on the next page, you have, again, different things you have to find around the mall. Um, and it takes you all over the mall. So literally, from one end of the mall to the other, you're running around and you're trying to find things. And there's different clues. And then we bring them back and we find out which team wins. This is such a good idea. I yeah, love it. It's, it's so fun. The girls absolutely love it. Boys, too. I mean, we get a ton of boys in here and the different age groups. It's awesome. Okay, super cool. We're going to dig into the scavenger hunt, keep on going, see which teams win. How are you girls doing over there? Good? Thumbs up. Good. Everyone is very focused here this morning doing the scavenger hunt, part of Green Door's Stay in Play uh, program, where you can drop the kids off, a couple of hours, get your shopping done. It's only $10 an hour. What a great idea, especially for the holiday season, guys. 8.52, we're checking in with our Joe Bellin one final time this morning, hanging out at South Center Mall with a cool program to let parents do what they need to do while the kids are entertained. Yes, and parents need to shop, especially this time of year. Green doors stay in play. In South Center, it's below Crate and Barrel. You just take the escalator down and then down the hallway, the professional sort of center, there's a bright green door. Drop the kids off an hour, two hours, get your shopping done. And it's been action packed here this morning. Have you guys had fun? Yeah. Yeah, everyone's had a blast here. Uh, let's talk about hours because it's a little bit extended for the holiday season. It is, it is. Um, we start with Black Friday. It's our first late day. Um, and we go till 8 o'clock at night. And then we're Thursday, Friday, Saturday till 8 o'clock at night. Um, we are open seven days a week, Monday to Saturday from 10 until 6, and Sunday, 12 to 5. Okay, and for parents who have a lot of shopping to do, you have a frequent flyer program? I do, I do. I have one of these, um, our loyalty card. So you pay for uh, nine hours, and your 10th hour is free. Awesome. It's awesome. Super duper deal. Okay, who had a donut this morning? Me. Oh, lots of donut. You didn't have a donut? Donuts are awesome. I totally agree with you. Just every, everybody loves, that was an excellent question. That was, everyone loves donuts. <laughs> now, Kel uh, Kaylee, tell me a little bit about your favorite thing. What was your favorite thing about the morning? What do you um, like to do here? Really like drawing and stuff like that. Yeah, did you make a Christmas wreath? Uh-huh. Super. And how about you, little one? What's, what was your favorite thing to do today? 
Play babies. Play babies? And how old are you? I said babies. Oh, <laughs> Barbies. Thank you for the translation. I really needed help with that. Play Barbies. Okay, and how old are you, sweetheart? Three. Three. And how old's your sister? Five. Five. And what was your favorite thing to do this morning? Kaya and crafts. Coloring and crafts. How about you, sweetie? My favorite was the scavenger hunt. The scavenger hunt was so much fun. And how about you? Uh, doing the puppet show. The puppet show. <laughs> Super cool. Anyone else? My favorite part was coming together with my friends to be here and have fun. Yeah, you guys had a blast. Thank you so much for hosting us, all of it. It was all good. The whole morning was, was so much fun. I think we're out of donuts here. Uh, you guys run a great donuts. program. Thank donuts. you so much. Yeah, my yeah, favorite yeah. part was the donuts. <laughs> Your favorite part was the donuts. <laughs> Camp basketball. Cameraman Nick liked the donuts, too. Uh, thank you so much for hosting us. This is fantastic. And, you know, I'd like to release you um, to your cameraman, oh, yeah, but right, he has right. to give back the... I think he lost it. Um, oh, no. You might have to stay with us. I have my wristband, but my caretakers dropped the ball. Yeah, you're going to have to stay. All right, I'm staying. Guys? <laughs> you got to get your caretaker to buy you lunch now. Yeah, no, if he's a